Okay, folks, I'm going to be refilling up my log pile here. Uh, depleted it. We'll be depleting it a bit more with the, um, the Landman uh, ball of fire. Uh, mainly, I'll bring down some of the small stuff that I can put here. I can't chop this stuff up as it goes. This will be for smaller burning stuff. Um, that's my seat. I will be splitting some of this just because uh, you got to make sure it can fit in your fire pit. These I will split. This one, that one. I will be showing you where I'm getting all this wood. It's from my uh, ash tree I chopped down. Uh, this is my little wagon, if you can see it. I utilize this because it's easier to pull a bunch of, kind of a bunch of wood, than my big one, which I can do, but it's a workhorse and it is a uh, hardcore. Okay, I'll be showing you my uh, where I get this wood from the 40-foot ash tree I chopped down in uh, 2008. Okay, folks, some of you have heard me talk about cutting down a 40-foot or so ash tree. This is the remains of it, basically, the vast majority of it. There's going to be some over there. I'll come back behind the camera and pan it. This is basically across the street from my house. This is the entrance into the woods. Uh, behind you is the trail that leads to the bike path. That's a path going that way. It's where the fox den used to be. Where my one site used to be. My fire site. Potential campsite. Long story. Long war for kids. Tree fell down and it's not that safe. I got another setup that I started. I just haven't had a chance to mess with it. As soon as I do, I'll be able to knock it out real quick. Uh, but yeah, I'll pan over. This is a lot of wood. This is ash wood. It's really good firewood. I'm now coming over here, getting some, and bringing it back across the street to basically be burned in my fire pit. I mean, I, I got some hidden all the way back there just because at the time I was blocking this to mess with the kids uh, to pay them back for littering uh, and not taking care of the forest. Take care of things, or I will treat you a lesson. I love teaching people lessons. That was a fun war against them. Um, they had a lot of people, uh, I think, helping. I was just one person and <laughs> getting a great workout. And I can uh, put on lights and you know continue into the night and have fun. If it protects the woods, I'm all for it. You know, you just got can't mistreat stuff. At, you know, it annoys me. You gotta be good. I'll give you a pan around of uh, the forest, basically. It's all nice and green now. That's a path leading off that way, basically. It eventually goes to your left. There used to be another entrance off to the right. I opened up all these entrances, removing honeysuckle, and I closed them according to uh, how they start getting used and usually mistreated. This is a path that will go to your left and basically back further back that way is the bike trail where they have fires and litter now yippee okay folks I'll be chopping this up uh, you should have the chainsaw but I don't and I'll show you some of my axe work <laughs> I'll chop through pretty quick this is old seasoned wood show you that I can actually use an axe. Some people don't think I can. Trust me, I chopped down a 40-foot ash tree with axes. I know how to use axes. Whether I'm keeping it propped up correctly, a different story. When you got an uh, angled log, I could do it a little bit better on that, actually. I perfect with my axe form? No. It gets the job done, though.
you got, boys and girls. I can haul those. I'll take them home, split them with a chainsaw, and then a uh, oh, metal wire. I was wondering what was hitting me. Uh, chop those with a chainsaw. And this is what <laughs> the axe's point of view is. Wham! <laughs> I do, I do it as actual strike, but man, this would just blast it off. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> Wham! Oh! <laughs> this new uh, uh, tripod thing is tripped out. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a little spin around with the axe. I'll spin, I'll spin in a circle with it. <laughs> this is so cool. Get dizzy. <laughs> Okay folks, I'm done uh, collecting my wood and splitting it. I'm going to be putting it onto my log pile here. It's not the hugest pile, but uh, I don't need two huge piles. I will be messing that with my compost bins too. So I don't want to build these too high. Because I will have to open both all three of these up, sift them out, figure out what's not broken down, and basically have to put those back into a bin. That's the process of composting. All this stuff requires a lot of time, uh, but it, it's outdoors, it's you're getting physical exercise, um, it's healthy. Uh, you're enjoying stuff, you're not on a tele, uh, watching the TV, you're not on a telephone. It's what the Amish do, basically. It's hard work. Um, I don't know, I do it for myself. I will eventually, I'm sure, share my fire with somebody else. I do. My nieces do come back and watch them briefly before they have to go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I got, I got different chunks here. So basically, this is a nice burn right here. Got lots of this stuff can be thrown into, help kindle it. I do have a covering, but I don't think it's going to rain for the next couple of days. I will probably do a fire tomorrow night, maybe, or the night after that. Who knows? Um, who not? Well, but who knows? Um, yeah. Now I'm gonna start messing with. Uh, oh, I got some more wood. I'm gonna mess with my garden here in a second. Gotta just start raking it to pull out the um, uh, weeds. Don't want to start planting anything just yet. Not till basically Mother's Day, which is May. Oh, I forget already. 14th or something along that line. There you go. There's some wood for my uh, uh, bin or for my fire. <laughs>